With the long strides that accompany her 5'10 frame, Kim DeCesar glides swiftly from one end of the soccer field to the other, and the same could be said of her college career for the Duke Blue Devils. In five years, she has gradually traveled from box to box, coming in as a defender, moving through the midfield as a quality reserve, and blossoming last year as one of the most productive forwards in the country, when she and tag team partner Laura Weinberg netted 16 goals apiece to become the top scoring duo in school history. There's the corner kick from Weinberg to the head of DeCesar and into the right corner, and the Blue Devils now up three to nothing. Weinberg to DeCesar. I think she's the most unique player that in the 32 years that, that I've coached that I've really have, have coached in her journey. It's, it's, it's really unique and it's great. The, the great thing about Kimmy is her unselfishness to help the team. Then the most important thing to her is the team wins. How can I help the team win? The journey has been unique, but the transitions haven't always been smooth for the two-time team captain. I've enjoyed it because I've been able to play every position and I can have now a favorite position because I've been everywhere. Um, but it's also frustrating every year at times when you have to train for a new position or like you don't quite know where you're going to be because you have a different mindset if you're playing a center forward compared to a defensive center mid. Or, um, but I definitely think that has advanced my skill set. I've been in pretty much every situation that you can be on the soccer field. I've played every position. I've been, I've sat the bench for entire games because I was injured. I've sat the bench because I wasn't good enough to be on the field. And I've played in big games and I just have experienced every position. And I think that's what, that's what kind of helps me like succeed now. The Caesar hopes it also helps her succeed in the future. While she has excelled in the air, she's also been using her head for more than goal scoring. De Caesar has studied every nuance of every position on her path to becoming a soccer coach. I've been training kids since I was maybe 12 or 13. I've been training little kids. Like over the summer, I'm going, going, going from the second I wake up to the second I go to bed with my own training and then being on the field and coaching youth kids from ages, I did U4s this year to 18. When I'm out there, I just think like I'd rather be doing this than anything else. So it just kind of perpetuated off that. She's got a, a very good soccer brain. She thinks the game, she talks the game, she studies the, studies the game with it. And there's no question in my mind that, you know, Kimmy's gonna be a, a, a great coach. And I'm excited in, the, in the, the women's games. It needs more female coaches like Kimmy to come in and really take over and become head coaches. I think she'll demand hard work from everyone and um, I think she'll expect that as a basic. And then, um, I mean, she does know a lot about the game and I trust her whenever she tells me anything. I feel like as a coach, I can relate to every single position that a kid's in and also like the kids that are injured and the kids that are, that are sitting or just all different situations I've either experienced personally here or seen here. I'm very fortunate for that. With NSCAA TV, this is John Roth.